Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're gonna play some more Valheim with mods. So in this episode, we got our complete heavy Fenris armor set, and we are gonna go back to the Mistlands and try it out. But we also installed some new mods. One was just the Beppin X configuration manager, which allows you to change the mods while you're playing on the fly. And the other one is creature level and loot control. That one allows you to change the difficulty of the game and add some new effects to monsters. So I actually made it so the chances of higher star monsters and enemies spawning has been increased. So we are much more likely to encounter two or three star seekers in the, in the Mistlands. So that's going to be interesting to say the least. So in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enchant my new leggings, my heavy Fenrir boots. We just made them in the last episode. They haven't been enchanted yet. So let's go ahead and enchant and hopefully we get something like Featherfall or something along those lines. Okay, slash damage, sprint stamina and pierce damage. Pierce and slash damage are excellent. We do definitely need those. Sprint stamina, also good. None of these are on health critical, so that's really good. I like all three of those things. It doesn't give us the feather fall, which I was hoping we would get. What do we need to make the Galder table? Let's see. So just Iter, Black Metal, and Yggdrasil Wood. So here's what I'm gonna do. So we're just gonna go straight to the Mistlands, grab some Yggdrasil Wood, come right back. I guess we'll see if there's any enemies that we spot that happen to have higher level effects. Let's put on our, um, yeah. Put out our wisp so we can see. Oh, yeah, see? This, uh, wild female boar has two stars and they're blue. Which means that this boar has some different effects than normal. That boar might be, like, resistant to frost or might have some other elemental effect. Yggdrasil wood, one. And you only need a few to make the Galler table. Hey man. The Vrigarug, what is up? Shoot. So there's some Yggdrasil trees right there. Chop this one. And that should give us plenty of uh, Yggdrasil wood for the golden table. Uh oh, hello. Is this a two star? It's a three star. Come on, man. Come on, man. He's at an angle. He's at a, on a hill. Which is the worst thing ever. Wow, that almost killed me. That did kill me. That actually did kill me. Well, here we go. You're going to be seeing this a lot. I'm going to be dying a lot from now on. I hope you guys are happy. You've done this to me. Okay, well, I'm just gonna get my body back and that's it. And come right back with all the stuff. Let's see if I can get my body back without engaging with that three star. What have I done? One of the configuration options is that the enemies will scale, their difficulty will scale with how many bosses you've defeated. And I've defeated, uh, five out of six. Hey, man. 
Nice job staying alive. So, because I've defeated so many bosses, oh. The enemies are gonna be extra difficult. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you, I say. Hey, um, the burger. Can you help me out? Got him. But they should also drop extra good stuff. More things than usual. The more difficult they are. Oh, he's a star rogue. I didn't realize that. So yeah. The fact that they are more difficult means that they will drop more stuff. And better stuff. So like, what's this one? Uh, this is interesting. This is Plains Armor. But it has, you know, five different magical effects on it. Not a bunch of good magical effects, necessarily, but a lot of them. So, that's something to take into account. We will get more stuff, but we will have to earn it. But here's that log. I just wanted the, the wood. And the seeker just had to come and interrupt. So. To compensate for the difficulty, we are definitely gonna need to be enchanting our, our equipment to be extra good just to survive. That's part of our armor set. So, let's go back to Basin. <laughs> oh, and put on Circlet again. Ugh. What's this one? You star? Any of you star? No, you're just regular. Regular ones. I, I keep thinking that everything's going to be, you know, high star seekers now. Because everything could be. Everything could be extremely deadly. I did try to balance the difficulty a little bit. So, yes, there is a three star seeker there. But not all of them will be like that. And they'll drop better stuff when they do drop stuff, so... It'll be worth it, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna be completely ruining the game for myself, I hope. We are going to disassemble. And then we have everything that we need to make the Galder table, which hopefully will allow us to make the feather cape. Yeah. We can make Eitir stuff. Crystalline mask. Oh, we got some magical armor sets. Druid furs. Unfading candle. That's uh, upgrades for the Galder table. Feather cape. Here we go. We need more refined Eitir and feathers. Do we have more feathers or not? Did we use up all our feathers? Do I need to go get more feathers? I've never had to do that before at this point in the game. We've never needed more than we already had. I need more refined diter, so I need to get those uh, carapace shields. I got a couple of those. Those are made with iter. I need to do it at the Black Forge. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna remake our Black Forge. And I can reclaim these two dome shields. 
Reclaim. Yep. And get the refined ITER from those. Okay. And now. Hey Vikings, enjoying the video so far? Why not give the video a like? If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And share with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps. And thanks for watching. I need to kill a bird or something. And get feathers. Because wow, we don't got any. Bird. Oh, you moved. Feathers. I can get feathers if I make chickens, but that's going to take too long. But I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it anyway. Oops. Ah. I've got two eggs. Let me grab a little bit of wood. And then I'm going to go to one of these bigger houses. There's like two small houses and two bigger houses. So what we're going to do... There's a chest in here too, so I can put food in there for them. So I'm going to... Drop the eggs inside here. Actually, split them. One egg. There. Where is the fire? Back here? Is this too cold? No, it's warm. This is warm. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some half height walls. So like say over here. There. That way the the chickens No. I'm gonna do that. The chickens will remain in the warm part. And I can put some food in that box and they will eat out of the box. Because I also have another mod that does that. Once they grow up, I can slaughter them and get feathers. So, put those in there. Now both of these eggs are warm. So they should uh, hatch into chicks. And they will be safe in here from any any attacks. Any bats or any drakes or anything like that. However, that doesn't really help me right now. I still need feathers right now to make the feather cape, which I need. So I can use my new armor set and still have the feather fall. Any other birds? Man. Got it. Got one bird. Got you. Okay. Blue Jay. Oh, I got a blue Jay. Did you drop any standard feathers? Yes, you did. Two. Okay. That might be enough. <laughs> Two star blue Jay. That's hilarious. Let's make our golder table. Maybe we will use it to make the feather cave. Excellent. So now our new, our feather cape has feather fall. It's resistance versus frost. Can I upgrade it? No, we need Galder table level two to upgrade it, which I might just make so we can at least get a little bit more uh, armor rating. I'll do that. I will do that after I enchant it. Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to enchant. Let's go ahead and see if we get anything good from this. Because everything else is a bonus. Let's see if we get anything good. Okay. Iter regeneration. That'll be good for when we do magic. Durability, armor, and stamina regen on critical. Hmm. Okay. All that is a, is a bonus. And then augment. Our pelt. We're gonna go for this one. 
We're gonna augment and see if we get something better. Okay, health regen. Waterproof. We won't get wet anymore. That's pretty good. 2.5 per tick is pretty good health regen, though. But being wet is a terrible thing to be in the Mistland. So I'm gonna go waterproof. I've never had any waterproof uh, armor before. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, I'll I will upgrade the the cape later. Can we upgrade any of this stuff? We can upgrade our boots. Go ahead and do that. Did I hear some chickens? Let me just check on them real quick. Oh, we got chickies. We've got chickies. Chickens. Have they eaten anything yet from the box? This entire area that they are in is close enough to the fire that they should be able to grow up. I could probably make this entire building open to them, but I'm gonna keep them in this smaller area for now. All right, I think we are now ready to uh, go to the Mistlands and then go to that other dungeon that we marked so that we can get more cores, hopefully. Feather cape, heavy Fenris armor. We'll see <laughs> if that will allow us to survive long enough in the Mistlands. All these super aggressive, like, wildlife and enemies in the... in the Black Forest could also be, like, three stars now. Ooh, three-star Skelly. I do need some, um... Skeleton trophies, so... Go ahead and give me some Skelly trophies. I will take them. I don't want magic, anything. And I don't want bone fragments, but I'll take the skelly trophy. Now, where is the, the other dungeon? Down here? Uh-oh. We got a, uh, a one star, but with a blue attribute. I don't know what that does exactly. I gotta try to slow these guys and then, like, run behind them. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Dungeon down there. I think we may have done this dungeon right here. So, this one is definitely done. Did we do this dungeon in a previous episode? Either way, we'll go there first. And then... If it turns out we um, already did that one, we will just we'll go to the next one. Renegade Viking. Whoa. Renegade, can you take out that, uh, Three star. No, you can't. You certainly cannot. Oh, a uh, multiple, multiple three stars, and different. Um. Elemental effects too. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Oh, we got some uh, legendary something. Ah, no. No. No dying, please. Not today. Not today. Okay. Whew. That could be a problem in these dungeons. 
Now that I think about it, that could be a real problem of, uh... <laughs> Having very high level uh, seekers and ticks. I've never even seen a three star tick before. I've seen a two star, but not a three star. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. What have I done to myself? <laughs> not only have I made three stars actually even appear. But I've made them appear far more commonly than before. I may have also made it so dungeons um, respawn. Maybe, maybe not. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's just go inside this dungeon and see what happens. Yeah. Okay, so I didn't make dungeons respawn the enemies inside, but I did make areas respawn enemies. So like this, the outside of this dungeon was clear and now it's not. I'm pretty sure that's because I made a change or maybe that's the default setting in the mod. Ow, ow. Wow, okay. Well, guess what? We're, we're leaving this one. We are leaving that dungeon. We're gonna go. We're just gonna go. Black metal great bow. Uh oh. So many seekers. Just a lot of them. Okay, well. There is a dungeon this way. That sounds like a renegade. With a demolisher. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Bunny. God. So, it's also good to have, um, star bunnies around. Oh, oh, star, um, Star gals. Star gals, though. I haven't considered that there could be star gals. <laughs> I have not fought a star gal before, I don't think. Not that I can remember. Do we have, uh. We do have star. the Vergers as well. So perhaps. I can uh, lure some of these. Seekers over here. Or I can just kill them from a distance. Definitely hitting them. Killed that one. Now, can I get over there? 
Without dying. I'm also waterproof, so does that mean I won't, uh... If I go in the water, I won't get wet? Oh, yeah. Yes! It does mean that, as a matter of fact. I won't get wet even if I go in the water. That is very good. Okay. I need some stone and some wood to make a campfire inside. Uh, where's my... Let me get this wood here, and then get some stone. Uh-oh. Need to toss some stuff already. Mm. No, ticks. Ticks already. Bad ticks. Bad. Give me some stone, please. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. End of this dungeon. <laughs> Make our campfire. Get rested. Now, <laughs> how difficult is this gonna be? Don't want these things at the moment. That sounds very scary in here. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh boy. We got ticks. We've got ticks. Yeah, how many, like, ticks and stuff can we smash through the walls? Oh. Well, he knocked me right out. He almost killed me. Almost killed me in one hit. Ooh, boy. That's not good. I might need to get way higher armor rating armor before I can really face these guys. I might need to abandon my uh, heavy Fenris armor set entirely just because it's not enough defense. Not nearly enough. Oh no. Okay. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. 
well, I tried to block that. And I was not successful. Okay. Hmm. Oh boy. This is a problem. This is a very big problem for me. What am I gonna do? Um, I have this quality 10 armor set that has is armor 44. Armor 26, padded helm. These ones are stamina or um, feather fall armor. I'm gonna have to try and get there without feather fall. I'm just gonna have to get my best armor. My great helm, I guess. Yeah, that, I guess. And a porcupine? Fortunately, I keep my Diverger circlet. Like, is this gonna be one of those things where it's just impossible to do without having bone mass? Because there were like multiple three stars in there. That is quite a distance that I need to get through without feather fall. So I need to be very careful not to jump off any cliffs. That would be very embarrassing to die <laughs> before I even get there. Hey guys. We'll go from dwarf base to dwarf base. Don't die, don't die. Don't die from falling, please. Do not. Do not. It's this way, right? Dwarf base. That way. I'm extra nervous now. Oh boy. Where, where, where should I be going? Okay, I see it on the mini map. See it on the mini map. Let's just get to this dwarf base, and I'll be safe, and then I can proceed from there. Uh, I don't want to be in the water. I do not want to be in the water here. Get out of the water. Darn it. Okay, here we are. Now these guys Will keep me safe if uh, any seekers are around. Okay, okay. Now just get across. Oh, uh, my frame rate is suffering right now. That's not good. So just get my stuff, or at least as much of my stuff as I can hold, and then get up. Okay. Run in there, grab my stuff, run out. Can I 
kill those seekers that are right by the entrance. No. No. Uh, this is a problem. <laughs> They're still doing so much damage. Even one star seekers with the best armor in the game in vanilla will still kill you in like two hits. So, ooh, ooh, three stars. Three stars. Why did I do this? What have I done? <sighs> Take out them dicks. Hammer. Campfire. That's an iron buckler. To very, very carefully try to take out all of these seekers. Well, there is a seeker soldier somewhere around here. I can just smash them from a distance. Take them out from a distance. Come on. It's not fair. You're right there. And I just broke my friggin' campfire again. Ah! Not cool. There's just so many of them that out in the open. Look at this. This is nuts. This is nuts. There are far too many of these guys that are not. In the dang corner where they belong. Or in there, in a sealed room where they belong. Okay. There we go. Fully rested. Oh, there's a soldier down there. This is a big one, too. This is a big dungeon. With cores in it. There are cores in it. 
I just don't want to have so many of them out in the open, not behind a wall where they can just sneak up on me. I don't want any of them sneaking up on me. Like that one. I don't want any... ticks coming out of nowhere when I'm trying to battle something. Something dangerous. A three-star tick. Oh boy. Three-star tick. Don't like that. Uh-uh. Don't like that one bit. Ah, uh, two-star tech now. <laughs> that was just a one-star tick. Look how many ticks there are! That's not okay. Ah, uh, this is why you gotta stay... like, rested and stuff. Because they will... just drain you. Of your stamina. Let me take out this soldier from here. Taking him out. I'm hitting him in his uh, vulnerable spot. He's, is that the thorax? The rear end of the insect? Look at all this, like, <laughs> glowy stuff I just want to take back to my base immediately. Uh-oh. Ow. Can I smash? Or will he come up here? I can cheat. <laughs> cheat my way. This is slow, but it will work. Eventually. This will eventually work. I might have to come back here multiple times, to be honest. I am I am willing to do that. Make a couple of trips. Because my inventory is completely full. There's still a bunch of stuff here I want to get. So, due to the difficulty, um, I may need to just back here. But I saw at least one black orc. So hey, that's that's a good thing. Whenever I hit the thorax <laughs> with my smash, it does critical damage. It makes it <laughs> makes him die a little bit faster. Okay, here we go. We're getting close now. We're getting there. Come on now. I would like it if you dropped the trophy though. 
Mr. Seeker Soldier. I want to have at least one Seeker Soldier, Seeker Soldier trophy in my Valheim career. At least one. You know? Did you drop a trophy? Ticks though. That ticks though. That three star killed me. There's another three star. That's very unfortunate because now my good armor, now my good armor is out there. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I need some armor. What if I just have my feather fall pants and nothing else. What if we do that? Okay. Let's try to get our body back. Just gonna run into that dungeon, grab our body, run back out, and do nothing else. No. Do not die here. Do not die here. I'm so used to having armor with a million, like, stamina regen bonuses that now that I don't have that on, I'm kind of, kind of lacking in my stamina regen compared to what I'm used to. Oh, is this another dungeon? Did I run into another dungeon? Uh-oh. And a skull! Okay, well... To the, uh, northeast of that one dungeon that I did, but I didn't mark. Save me, Mr. Diverger, please. Save me. No gals. No gals. Oh, no renegades. No renegades, please. Not right now. Dude. Get out of here. Help me, guys. Help me. Yeah, can you guys take out that renegade, please? <laughs> I need to get my body. <laughs> my body is already completely... full of stuff. Oh, and there's guys out there again. I don't like that. I'm gonna bone mass. I'm gonna try and grab my body, get out of there, put my stuff back on. Get out of there. No. Oh. 
No knocking me into the water, you jerk. Uh-uh. Come here. You die now, is what you do. Embla suit? Is that a... A, uh... A root armor set type of thing? Oh, boy. All right, I'm gonna just toss some things down here. And hopefully I can run in, grab my body, run back out. Okay, gather. I still have bone mass. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a health potion, go in there, and then if I get hit, hopefully I will heal immediately. Die! Okay, killed it. I killed it. Woo! Oh. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> We're taking all this stuff back to base. Is there anything here I can just drop? I can probably put these five stone right there. And grab whatever this armor is. Because, man, any of this stuff could be really good armor. That's actually not bad armor. Carry weight, health, armor. Armor 30. And then we are going to go back. We're going to go back to base. <laughs> Let me get some mead going. We want the, um, the stamina potion that, uh, works over time. Lingering stamina, right? Go ahead and craft that. We need to stop by that root that has our, um, extractor on and get more sap as well. What armor do I have? Basically, my best armor set that I have available to me. My highest armor rating, 106. That's that's fine with me. That's a two-star. I missed it! It didn't miss me, though. It certainly hit me. Oh, big skelly. Can you distract that uh, seeker for me? Thanks. Thanks. Big skelly can at least distract. Could you just get up there? Man, I need the lingering stamina so bad. Because I have to run from everything. That's the, the main problem, is that I have to run from everything. Go so straight south.
boy. Not right now, y'all. Not right now. Not in the mood. Wow. Look at all this stuff. That these, uh... The Vergers have uh, killed. I'm gonna mark this. Let me get all these uh, legendary things. We'll leave those uh, epic things. I just want the legendary things right now. Legendary pickaxe. Indestructible. Attack speed plus 19. That's even better than my current. <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping that. <laughs> no movement speed penalty. Attack speed and indestructible. And physical damage plus X. That's like the best possible pickaxe you can get in the game. Okay. Now. Yeah. <sighs> Didn't quite make it on top of that rock. Here we go. Made it to this dwarf base. And these guys are still around. My stuff is still over there. Cool, oh, cool. Oh, I am wet. I'm not waterproof. So unless that's... That only counts when, um... Oh, there's multiple high star seekers. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die here. No, 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 Get out. Out. Let's get inside. What do you mean I didn't get the wood? <clears throat> Man, this place is so noisy. Don't. There. Now stop being wet. <laughs> I almost have my bone mass back. Okay, here we go. Now. Can we? Survive long enough. To get some good stuff.
Nothing in here. Okay, okay. Are we mostly clear of any enemies out in the open? Can I actually start, like, looking around? No. No! No! He staggered me while he was on top of me. That tick. That tick. This is a big problem. What am I gonna do? It doesn't help that this is just, on its own, a really high level dungeon. Like, a very large dungeon with open pathways and multiple floors. Like, Even under the uh, ideal circumstances, with even without this mod, we would have some trouble. We would be having trouble with this dungeon. Even with just one star seekers. And there would be one star seekers. Oh man, those, those poor divergers. I'm sorry guys, I didn't realize that up in the difficulty quite this much would also kind of destroy every dwarf base, you know? <laughs> oh, did I get a buff? A diverger power buff? Cool, cool. Thanks, guy. I'm just gonna go. Hopefully that, uh... Campfire is still... At the, this, the beginning. I'm not wet. Good. Let's get dry. Let's turn auto pickup off. No. No. He staggered me again! He staggered me! Just his blood sucking is so devastating to me that staggers me! Oh no! Uh, we're gonna call it here for today. <laughs> In this episode, I kind of screwed myself over by installing creature level and loop control mod. And I made it so that the enemies can scale up to three stars and are more likely to have to spawn at the higher levels based on the amount of bosses that I killed and that means that uh, basically all of them are gonna be three stars or two stars that was not a smart thing for me to have done so this dungeon is basically impossible I don't know how I'm gonna get my body cuz the two star tick it's not even a three star it's a two star just gets on me and then like staggers me 
he kills me faster than I can get him off. And then when I'm trying to attack him, he staggers me. Oh, I can't, can't believe this. So in the next episode, we're gonna figure out how to survive. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I have my bone mass. I should have probably uh, enabled that before I went in there. But now all my good armor, all my good armor is in that dungeon. We may need to turn down our mod. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. It was funny to have a three star, you know, a three star monster here and there, but this is too many. We're gonna have to turn that down. So if you would like to follow along with our adventure and see if we can uh, tweak this just enough to be challenging but not quite so deadly, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.